Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Red Elevator. I'm Nina Takish. This is the Red Elevator. I'm so excited to finally be sharing with you my favorite neutral paint colors. You don't wanna miss this. Follow me. And since so many of you ask today, thanks to Tori Birch, thank you Tori for styling me and the most incredible new collection for summer 2022. And this is the Veronica plaid skirt with the matching Veronica shirt. My earrings, of course, are also Tori Birch. Over the last six months, I have received more DMs and more comments regarding what neutral paint colors to use than any other particular topic. And that is why today I am bringing you this topic because I know you guys are thirsty for it. So before I get into it, I'm gonna ask you guys please to, if you can, give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you can subscribe, this is really gonna help my channel and get the uh, word out. Neutral paint colors are really important, especially today, because they are what everybody's looking for, what everybody's thirsty for. It is the perfect backdrop to today's furnishings and today's look. Neutral colors provide that classic tranquility that everybody is seeking. They also provide the basis for everything that you're going to do and all the pieces that you're going to layer within your home. They are very important and actually at the moment most walls right now in homes are extremely neutral. When speaking about neutrals we want to keep all the warm neutrals together and all the cool neutrals together. So if we're talking about warm neutrals you're talking about colors that are tan, brown, gold, those are the warm neutrals. So they are the earth tones that we've talked about. Now, what shade we use in those warm neutrals, I will definitely be providing. When we talk about cold neutrals, we're talking about ivory, whites, silver, grays. Those cold neutrals are not trending as much as warm neutrals, but I have a lot of clients who want to go into the grays, who want to go into the, sil the silvers and the chromes, and that's when they should definitely stick into the cool neutrals and the clients that really have beautiful, warm uh, pieces of furniture like rusts and olives really need to stay in the warm neutrals. Quickly, make sure and use your premium brands. Why? Because if you buy cheap paint, the color will change. If you want your color to stay consistent, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. So it really depends on your personal taste. Again, design, there is no real right or wrong, but there are suggestions that we make, and my suggestion at the moment is to go with a warm, neutral and the reason is that we're seeing a lot of these sort of burnished brass and warm colors that are trending not only in terms of furniture but in terms of accessories and it is the perfect backdrop when you have a warm neutral not to make your place feel too stale and too hospital like make sure and stay to the very end of this video because that is when i'm going to be releasing my favorite neutral paint colors but before we get into the actual paint colors that i'm going to be suggesting let's talk quickly about sheens this is another very important topic that i get asked about quite a bit the number one takeaway from all of this um, finish discussion that we're going to have is that you definitely 100 percent need to do a flat finish on your ceilings nobody really knows why and i'm here to tell you the reason you do that is because you'll see imperfections on your ceilings easily if you're using anything with a sheen and you do not want to see an imperfect ceiling it just naturally happens that there's no way you're going to have the perfect painter there's no way you're going to have the perfect ceiling that's absolutely straight and uh, perfectly done and so for that reason you absolutely there's natural waves within um, you know when you're actually putting up your drywall when you're doing uh, all the work that entails before painting it. So you really have to do a flat, flat finish. Now, I have a different school of thought regarding walls. Walls, most people say, go with flat. I don't, I use an eggshell on the wall and I'll tell you guys why. And this is really important. The reason is eggshell basically dries as flat. Your eye will not pick up the difference between flat and eggshell. It is so subtle, you're not gonna notice. But what you will do is thank me when you put fingerprints or your kids put fingerprints all over the walls and you can't clean them. With eggshell, you can use a damp cloth 
and you can wipe them clean and it is wonderful and it saves me a lot of money and time not having to repaint every six months or every year i can basically wait two years before having to repaint my walls and when they talk about semi-gloss it really ends up being less than semi if that makes sense so if you do a semi gloss you're not going to get some you know shiny thing you're going to get a beautiful sheen that is going to have a beautiful soft glow that will elevate your baseboards and your moldings and your trims so that they have a little bit of a sheen very minimal and they will be a lot easier to clean than of course any other type of paint i love to paint my doors and trims in satin as well so if I were doing doors, I always say paint your doors in satin. It gives them a richer finish. They feel a little bit more elevated than something that's matte. It almost looks dead if it's flat. But if you do a satin finish on doors, that is going to be the perfect paint sheen to you. Something very important to keep in mind when you choose that paint color that I'm going to be suggesting in about 30 seconds, you want to test them out by a pint of paint go to your lumber yard or your paint store and get yourself a pint and paint the pint in a room that will ultimately be the room you're going to be painting the wall in but make sure that you check on that color throughout the day colors change with the way the light hits the wall so if it's a bright day it's going to look different than a gloomy day it's going to look different at eight in the morning than it is at night so it's important for you to look at the color in different lights and at different times. Lastly, being neutral does not mean being dull. I see a lot of people saying, well, Nina, I don't wanna just white, I want something because I want it to look like I spent money painting my house. Why would I spend all this time to paint my walls what look like the color of drywall? And I'm here to tell you that right now, neutrals look elegant. They are in every house, they are in museums. They are the perfect, actually, the perfect backdrop at this moment because of the fact that everything stands out in a gallery, art gallery, or in a museum, you'll notice there's a lot of neutral colors because the elements in the room definitely stand out. Ta-da, here we are. My number one favorite color of all time, of all time is Benjamin Moore, Simply White. You guys who know me, know me very well, know this is my favorite color. All of my clients have Simply White on their walls right now. We love it for baseboards. By the way, we paint the baseboards, the walls, the ceilings, everything in this, exact color even the doors so if you want a neutral backdrop simply white by benjamin moore is your color my second favorite is chantilly lace it is a little bit more of a white than the um, previous paint color that i talked about which is simply white and that is if you want just a little bit more of a pop something that's a little bit crisper chantilly lace is also a great color elephant's breath from Faroe and ball is a great color as you can see in these slides i'm showing you of course the images that have these paint colors on them so you can get a sense of it. A beautiful white creamy color that I am really loving at this moment is Pointing by Pharaoh and Ball. As you can see, it's a great neutral. I'm also loving Greek Villa by Sherwin-Williams, also another really great color. My last suggestion is a little bit out of the box, but a great one. It's called Balboa Mist by Benjamin Moore, and it is a pale gray, which has a bit of warmth to it. So if you want a little bit of color on your walls, Balboa Mist is definitely the way to go. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Red Elevator, neutral colors. I hope this information was helpful and that you will be able to use them in your space. I wanna know, have you tried any of these paint colors? Are you going to try any of these paint colors? Let me know which one you love the most and I can't wait to see you guys again next week on this channel, The Red Elevator. Have a great week.